On this video, we're going to talk about state transfer tax. You might have also heard this called documentary stamps. On the street, we call them doc stamps. I have two math problems for the price of one. The first one is asking you to figure out the taxes when given the price, and the other one's asking you to figure out the price when given the taxes. I'm Karen Clymer from Orlando, Florida. I'm a third generation Florida broker and a second generation Florida real estate instructor. I grew up in this business, so I know what you need to know to pass the Florida real estate exam. Keep watching and I'll show you two math problems that are similar to something you might see on the state exam. Calculate all applicable transfer taxes for property located in an orange county. And then it lists the purchase price, earnest money deposit, the recorded first mortgage assumed, second mortgage new, and cash at closing. So these are called transfer taxes. They're also sometimes called documentary stamps or uh, intangible tax. I like to call it taxes are a sin because it's S-I-N. We've got stamps on the deed, which are 70 cents per hundred dollars that you pay on the price of the house. Intangible tax, the I, is 0 .002. I usually say 0 .002 and that is paid on new mortgages, brand new mortgages. The N is note stamps, and that's 35 cents per hundred dollars, and that's paid on new and assumed mortgages. So we're gonna have several small problems for this one big problem. So we're gonna start off with the purchase price, the stamps on the deed. So we've got 28.57.25 is the price. And this is 70 cents per hundred dollars. So we're gonna divide by 100 and that gives you 2857.25. These are stamps. They're literally stamps. You lick them, you stick them. I'm kind of dating myself. We don't lick stamps anymore. You, now you peel them off a piece of paper and stick them, but they are literally stamps. So you can't buy 0.25 of a stamp. You have to round up to 2858. So if this is any decimal at all, you have to round up to the next number. And the stamps cost 70 cents each. So that's going to give us $2,060. And I want to tell you one thing about the calculator um, that a mistake a lot of students make, so I want to be sure you get this right. When you divide by 100 and you get this number, a lot of students will cross it off and write the new number just like I did, but they forget to clear the calculator. And then they just multiply by 0.70. So be sure you clear your calculator. Once you get this, just be sure you clear your calculator. So these are the stamps on the deed. So the next thing we have is intangible tax, the I, and this is on brand new mortgages. The first time it's ever been a mortgage. So you do not pay this on assumed mortgages. So in our problem, we have a new mortgage of uh, $50,000 and this is a tax, it's not a stamp, it's just a, a regular tax of 0 .002. So 50,000 times 0 .002 is going to give us $100. So that's the intangible tax. The next thing we have is the note stamps, the N. So that's on new and assumed mortgages and it's going to be 35 cents per hundred dollars. If you buy property subject to the mortgage, this tax is not due. It's only due on new and assumed mortgages. And this is a stamp like we had before, so we're going to do 137,310 divided by 100 gives you 1373.10 stamps you can't buy part of a stamp, so you're going to round it up to 1374. And these stamps cost 35 cents each. Don't forget to clear your calculator. 
So one, 1374 times 35 cents is going to give us $480.90. That's the recorded first mortgage. We also have to pay this on the new second mortgage. So we're going to do 50,000 divided by 100 gives you 500 stamps and they're 35 cents each. So that's going to give us $175. This question has two mortgages and you might think, well, why don't I just add these up and do them together? In this particular problem, that would work. But if this number had been a little bit different and we had to round both numbers up, you might be one stamp off. So it's better to just do each one separately. It takes a little more time, but it's just it's not enough time to matter. So we've got all these different taxes, and the question is, what are the total taxes? So we're just going to add these numbers up, and we get 2756.8. So the answer in this case is C, 2756.50. And I just want to tell you a few memory tips that might help memorizing the, the amounts. You do need to know the amounts for the state exam. They're not given to you. So you've got taxes are a sin, S-I-N. S, for sin, the stamps on the deed, is 70 cents. So those both start with S. That might help a little bit. And then the note stamps are 35 cents, which is half of the 70 cents. Um, but other than that, you just have to memorize it. Now I have a second problem that's related to transfer tax that I'm going to show you that's also the type of thing you might see on the state exam. So stick around and I'll show you a second problem. You were curious to see what your neighbor paid for his house. You look it up and you saw that he paid $825.30 in documentary stamps on the deed. How much did he pay for his house? So in real life, the amount that you pay for your house is not public record. But the amount you paid in doc stamps on the deed is public record. So this is how the newspaper and other organizations figure out the prices of houses. And this is how a curious neighbor would figure it out too. It's also how you might see it on the state exam. So he paid $825.30 in doc stamps on the deed. And those are 70 cents each. So we're going to divide by 70. And that gives us 1,179 stamps. And it's per hundred dollars so we're going to multiply by a hundred and that gives us one one seven nine oh oh and this is just backwards of what we did before we divided by a hundred times 0.70 to get the amount of tax so now we just divide by 0.70 times 100 so 1,017,900 but well, wait a minute that's not one of the choices the Answer to this one would be C, 117,857, because if you remember when we did it forward, we had to round at the stamps to get a whole number. So if you wanted to check your work and do 117,857 and do it just like we did on the last video, go forward, you would get 825.30. So this is two ways you can do the problem and two ways that you might see it on the state exam. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. It helps other people find the videos. If you need any further assistance or want to talk about how to get started in real estate, please give me a call. I'd be happy to help you.